What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We just hit 180,000 miles on this 2010 Camaro. Man, let me tell you, it's been a long journey. Back here with another update, man, and would you look at that? We are nearly at 180,000 miles on my 2010 Camaro SS. But that's the thing. This isn't an ordinary Camaro SS. This is definitely a supercharged LSA and cam boosted Camaro. Definitely faster than the ZL1. About 650 to the wheel, 710 horsepower overall. It's a pretty fast car. Right now we're on the interstate going about 300 miles to our destination. And like I can say, man, this thing is freaking great. I've been having this car since, let's start back when I bought it. I bought this car about three years ago. However, I bought it high miles. I found the, the cheap this one in my city and this one actually had 83,000 miles when I got it three years ago so yeah I got this car about August 2016 and 83,000 miles uh, about three years later I'm almost about a hundred thousand miles in we're just about to hit 180,000 miles and guys I can tell you from when I had it at 83k I've literally had no problems whatsoever literally no problems at all you ask me why i cam it and supercharge it it's a camaro so i mean i want a fast car i didn't want to pay like an extra 20 grand just to have a you know that zl1 and blase blase when i can have literally the same thing for half the price so i bought the ss in august of 2016 been driving it literally dogging this car driving it everywhere different states cross state lines back and forth cross state lines multiple times drag racing doing donuts flybys whatever you can call it i done in this car i rode in the snow the hottest of heat like everything in this car and i've never had any problems whatsoever guys so i had it for three years up until about january of 2019 i haven't done anything to it i literally just did everything to it so i got the uh, z01 lsa blower i got thousand cc injectors i got a cam in here texas speed cam i got a uh, z01 torque converter in here i got a z01 fuel pump in here so i mean you know i pretty much have everything in here from a z01 however i don't have that lsa uh, z01 block but i am faster than that block i am faster than that car but we're actually about 10 miles from 180,000 miles, guys. I actually been trying to sell this car because I'm actually trying to get in like a Z06, like a C7 Z06 or C7 Grand Sport vet. You know, I love my Camaro, I really do. I don't want to trade it in or I don't want to sell it, but you know, I did literally pretty much everything I wanted to do to this car. I love it, man. I had it for so long and I finally accomplished my goals that I wanted to accomplish with this car. I think it's just at a time right now, it's at 180,000 miles. It's really hard to sell Camaro with this amount of miles, but guys, I can tell you, mileage doesn't matter when it comes to these GM cars when you take really good care of them. Every 3,000 miles, I pull full synthetic oil change. I never had any issues or altercations with this car. I loved it. Um, got my slotted rotors on here, so it's looking a lot better uh, down there on the wheels. I got 22-inch 4G autos on here. I got a new custom paint job on here. I got the uh, Z01 rocker arms installed. I got the aftermarket rear bump so it looks a little bit chunkier. I got the Z01 front clip on here. A lot of cool little parts here and there, man. Alrighty, guys, we're coming up on 180K. 180,000, guys. Alrighty, guys. 180,000 miles. forgot to show you guys under the hood man so there it is you have the supercharger you have the JLT code air intake you got some headers on there um, injectors pulley stock pulley of course you got the JLT catch can um, yeah let's just give it a quick start I actually just got back uh, last night so we'll just give it a quick start here.
All I gotta do is gas up and go, man. What's up, guys? We finally made it to our destination, man. Made it to my buddy's crib here. 180,000 miles later. You guys see his with only like 50,000 miles. And mine's with like 180,000 miles. Got a couple of Trailblazers, Corvette, everything you want. Feel me? Alrighty, guys. Next destination here. We're at my buddy's. Another one of my buddy's cribs. Got the boat on the back of that joint. I believe, uh, I don't know which one is for sale. I think the gray one is actually for sale. Wants like 800 for it. I don't know if he does steal or not. But we got the boat. I don't know if we should take the boats out or the skis, man. Skis, more trailblazers. Then my boy got the I Rock. Man, don't even have me tell him pop the hood on this joint, man. Man, can I get a viewers a little, a little sum to gas back, man? Man, about to go to the, about to go to the exhaust shop, man. It sounds like you all uh, finished up. Are you going to the exhaust shop, man? Nah, I gotta get the tool, man. That's nah, can I just see the little turbo, man? You don't gotta start it. Yeah, man. I, you know I want everybody to see my shit, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Let me see what you got rocking here. Ooh, you ain't gotta show them too much, man. Ooh. Feel me? LS with the big turbo. Okay, okay. In a third gen. Feel me? That's how we doing it in LA, man. We bought a. Uh, we actually got another fifth gen over there. We got that one from uh, Copart and pretty much built this one. From the ground up it literally was a shell when we got it so uh you guys see it now it's actually six speed needs a uh, windshield a couple little windows got a couple back there nothing too crazy it literally just needs to be pieced together and it does uh start it is turnkey turnkey turn guys so this one uh i forget how much they got this one for from copart but you guys just see it, six speed, it's all together. Looks really easy to put together. I'll let you uh, see the back really quick. And you guys can see the back. It's nothing but bumper and tail lights and that's it. It's literally done and ready for paint. Uh, this is the homegirl whip right here. She actually got an LS in that. Should be done any day now. Uh, but yeah, guys, getting ready for this fall season. You know, my buddy here, he's got the third gen turboed out. We got another Trailblazer there. LS out. Another jet ski. So, yeah, man, I mean, we got some toys out here. It's just a matter of bringing them all out. He's actually about to take this to the exhaust shop. So, we're about to pop this thing on the trailer really quick and uh, see if we can go to the exhaust shop because it's actually at Antonio's shop, which is the paint shop. So, we can see what's good with Antonio. And if you guys haven't seen, this is definitely my 180,000 mile Camaro SS with the supercharged, with a cam, and about 650 to the rear freaking wheels, dog. Reliable as heck, you guys see me, I've been driving it all day. I just drove it freaking from LA to, I mean from Vegas to LA, no problems. All in that freaking hour, two hour traffic. Bumper to bumper, no overheat, man, it's crazy out there when we got close. And my other buddy just pulled up right now. This big, huge Sierra thing. Lifted up on them daddy-o's. Wet daddy. Feel me? Imagine that pulling the marrow to the track or something, man. That'll look so freaking sick. All loaded up. Or no, huh?
let's uh let's go dry this thing for a second see how it rides man because it definitely is, it's definitely way more comfortable than the camaro i can tell you that much for a long drive rather i've been in the camaro all day so I can keep up in this big truck, man. Boom, look. Eating and shit. Your big mouth ass out the way. Hey, it's funny you got the camera right there. <laughs> hey, you see who raised the car? Hey, on me, that nigga. Hey, and I was with the pedal shifters. You know what? The pedal shifters go way slower. No, facts. That's what's crazy. I'm dying, man. I'm gonna win a race before I sell it. No, facts. Damn, should I let it go? Should you? And hey, we're gonna see if it works out. buddy's actually trying to sell his car do you guys think he should sell the car he's uh, actually trying to find like a ls3 vet and then wide body it if not a z06 he's probably tired of the camaro so yeah we'll see what happens guys I'm about to go hop on the skis we got the track hawk over here but he just got it not too long ago top of the line version here we'll let you hear it in just a second this thing looks awesome What's up guys, we finally made it to the freaking beach or lake or whatever you want to call it, man. It's finally time to hop on the skis, man. We about to get cracking or what? Go, man. About to go up. We about to drop these things in the water. Hold on, let me, let me turn my camera around real quick, yeah. About to hop on these skis real quick and go up. We got the SS out here, hold on. Yes, sir. We about to be in these joints.
There you go. There you go. Good. You got them skis out, boy. So he gonna dock his up, chain his up, and then I'll catch you guys when I hop back on. So just a hot second. Alrighty, guys. We are on this water right now, man. I'm waiting for DeAndre to come back. He's parking the truck. But, man. I'm on it. Let's just hope I don't fall, guys. I haven't been on a jet ski in a while. It's definitely scary. It's super dark water. So, let's just hope I don't fall, y'all. We'll, we'll keep you guys updated. We're in, like, the five miles an hour zone. So, I mean, I guess I'll get you guys some cool little B-roll right here really quick. You know, nothing too major. Just a few of us just chilling out wait to get some fast runs for you and I'm kind of scared holding this camera trying to keep this ski do from flipping over guys so if the things feel kind of uh, short you know that's why guys and you know just like that we're in that lake so we got the gas man to pull up for the free ski get some free gas while you in LA man um, I put my offer code and all that so you guys can get the discount and get like 50 cents a gallon I'll put that in the link below. And you feel me? We back on the road, full tank, ready to go, 91. With the mobile guys, none of that junk stuff. So yeah, guys, I'll catch you guys in a sec. Sold this thing for 1550. Got the range. Everybody fucked up. That's the worst part. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, we are back here the very next day guys. We got out here pretty late last night and it was like, forget it, what the heck. We're back on here, hop back in this water man and try to get you something good. We got a little bit more time to shine today, so let's do it. <laughs> it better be a Hellcat. Yeah guys, they're up there filming like a commercial. Right up top. What happened? It's like an Hellcat. He said it is. I think that's a better view. Alrighty guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video, man. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe, man. If you are a subscriber already, don't hesitate to hit that share button. Leave me on your community post, man. I greatly appreciate it, man. As, as always, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.